In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what I'm doing and why I'm doing it in a live money game in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that you become a better Madden player is through playing better competition. And so I've been playing um, a lot of money games on Players Lounge, and I figured I would take you inside my head of one and kind of break down what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to do that. And all you got to do is just click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing here to start out is I'm going to be in my nickel 335 wide uh, defensive ebook and on offense I'm going to be in my bunch tight end offensive ebook. Now, if you have any questions about some of the things as you're seeing them happen on your screen or some of the plays that I'm calling or why I'm calling certain things or why I'm doing what I'm doing, go ahead and text me. My number is in the top left hand corner and that's the best way to get in touch with me is to just simply text me and that is my personal cell phone number. All right, so my opponent right off the bat is coming out in some trips tight end flipped. Um, so it looks like we're going to see uh, some of the meta here. Uh, we do have a decent defensive plan uh, for when somebody does go trips tight end. It will be interesting to see. I haven't seen a lot of people running out of it. It will be interesting to see what he does here. Um, but I have seen a lot of that play right there. So uh, anyway, right off the bat, he's going to be going to curl flat. It's actually a really good play call by him and a really simple and effective read uh, right there from him on that play. So uh, defensively, like I said, on the first drive of the game, my entire um, my entire goal is simply to force my opponent, uh, really to just simply force him to have to work a little bit, uh, just forcing him to kind of take you know what the defense gives him. So one of the things that you'll see is I'm actually going to be um, – you know, doing some different zone drops and some different uh, strategies uh, here. Uh, whoops, messed up one of my adjustments here, so I'm actually going to have to, and he does have that post route that he can hit if he wants to, and I don't know what he just ran there. I think that has to be PA slot corner, so good read by him on that trips tight end offense. Um, trips tight end is obviously one of the hardest offenses, uh, in my opinion, to stop. Uh, so that's something that we have to be ready for, uh, obviously, going into this game. So a couple things here. I'm, I'm kind of changing my adjustments on the fly here, just kind of basing uh, some different things. He's using some motion snaps. What I always like to do against trips tight end is if they motion someone, I almost always man him up. Uh, and right there, that should be an interception for me. Huge pick from Kevin King. Huge interception. And uh, we are going to be able to get the ball out. And this is huge. And, and here's why. When you're playing in a serious game of Madden 21, one. one of the things that is really, really important, in my opinion, is possessions, meaning being able to go up by a possession or two possessions, depending on the situation. So like here, you're seeing that I'm setting kind of some situational audibles uh, and things like that. But really, the other thing that's really important here is that I get ball at halftime. And so because I get ball at halftime, that's huge. What just happened is huge for my offense um, and, and really just huge for the whole game. So right here, uh, just got to stay simple and keep it simple. I think it's so important in this game to just simply keep it simple here. If you have to throw it away, I'm going to throw it away. I just want to kind of see, okay, what's he doing? Is he going to blitz? Is he going to run a lot of coverage? Is he, you know, is he going to run a lot of man coverage? Like those are some of the things you see here that it appears that he's going to run a lot of man coverage. So what we're going to do is try to get a mismatch. Um, what a lot of people do is they try to match Jair up on to Devontae Adams, but through some motion snapping and things like that, you see that you can kind of change the matchups a little bit uh, into your favor. So like right here, uh, roll out, hit the tight end, and uh, try to kind of glitch him up a little bit here. Robert Tunyon with a little stop and go. And now we're in field goal range. Now, once I get down here, and this is why, uh, in my opinion, this is much, much, much different than um, than just a, a standard game of Madden 21. Um, you're, you'll see what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go into some different routes. I'm going to maybe use a little bit of clock here, you know, just kind of trying to see, okay, how does he stop this run? Is he able to stop the run? Is he, you know, can I run the ball for a decent average? I want to keep the clock going, but I also want to make sure that I'm going to be able to get into field goal range because I cannot tell you uh, for the life of me how important it really is um, that I am able to be able to go down here and get a three points because when I come out of halftime, and he's showing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. That's 
kind of what he's doing. So you're going to see me use this motion snap tactic a lot um, just because of that right there. And that might be a touchdown for us um, because he's you see the mismatch that we're creating with the motion of the left side receiver. It often will create a mismatch. Um, he ran press man every single play on that last drive and we're able to glitch him out. And uh, and get a get a nice little uh, get a nice little man beater on that side. So this is one of the tools in your arsenal using motion to be able to beat press man coverage. So bunch tight end is an incredible offensive scheme. Like I said. Um, both schemes are in the description. If you want to get my offense, it's just 15 bucks, and it's in the description. If you want to get my defense, it's also just 15 bucks, and it's in the description as well. And if you want to get a free sample of either one of those schemes, all you have to do is text me. So just say, hey, Cody, I'd like to get a free sample of the Bunch ebook or the Bunch tight end. Hey, Cody, I'd like to get a free sample of the of the 335 wide. So just shoot me a text message. My number, like I said, is in the description of this video. Okay, so right here, you know, now what we've got to do is we've got to be a little bit more cautious here um, and just kind of just be smart. Um, honestly, just be smart here and uh, be a little careful. There, he's going to go over the top. Perry Ickerson might get a pick, and we do get the pick, but we don't get our feet down. And right now, we're looking really, really good on defense. I must say, um, I've been very impressed with how my defense has been playing um, for about the last week or so, really ever since the Madden Classic. Um but we're just going to see kind of what he does. Now, When he again, when he motions, I'm always going to cross man. Almost always you're going to see me cross man here. Um, now, right here, there's nobody in the middle of the field, so he's going to probably check it down right here, and we're just going to sit on him and force him to have to you know, make a decision. Now, defensively, we're playing lights out right now. Uh, we are playing really, really, really good on defense. So right here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to catch him in a little bit of a user rush. I know that he's coming out with that bootleg play, and that's actually a really good play. If I can get a fumble, uh, that was almost a huge play for the defense. Actually, a really good play by my opponent. Um, and right here, uh, we're going to go with that same setup. Now, this is really, really risky what we're doing, but we're really trying to make a, you know, again, I'm trying to get out in front here. So we're going to go with a little bit of a user rush. Okay, he doesn't go to the user rush, okay? So we need to come back out. He throws the crosser, and we've got it bagged up. Now, this is huge. So we just went up by two, if you think about it, we only need about 10 yards, and we go up by two possessions. Defensively, we have just gotten critical stops and critical movements. He's running a really good offense. He's running the meta. He's running Las Vegas, right? So, um, so anyways, the point to that is, you know, I need to do a good job of making sure that, you know, I don't do exactly what I'm going to do right here. Hopefully that's not an intentional grounding, but I had to throw that away. Really good job of my opponent of just keeping contain, uh, keeping contain. So like right here, this situation, situational adjustment, right? Situational adjustment. So he's, he's in three, three, five. I got to audible down. I got to check down into the zone weak and see if I can't catch him here. See if I can't get a pop a runoff a little bit here. Just kind of get some yardage, get myself into field goal range and keep that clock moving. Now, what I probably should have done is I probably should have taken that, that all the way through the clock. Uh, I did not do that. And that's going to actually be a big deal. You'll see it probably will come back um, to, to, to haunt me a little bit in this game, but here he's going to run, uh, and Rodgers makes the throw of the game so far. Great throw by him, getting me into field goal position. And now we've got about four minutes left in the first half, and we are in field goal range, able to go up two possessions. Now, again, I talk about this all the time. Because I can go up by two possessions, it is so important that I do not turn the ball over. It doesn't even matter. It really doesn't matter that I score. What matters is simply that I don't... And so I'm going to go to a version of PA boot over I really, really like. This is basically PA boot over out of um, single back trio. And, uh, and, and and basically, I'm just trying to kind of keep everything in front of me. He's going to be expecting a run. We're going to pass. We're going to come out, roll out. And you see right here, the delay fade once again hits him. And we get ourselves into a scoring range. This is very, I mean, we are in a very, very good position. But one of the things that I want to make, make certain that you hear me say is I will not throw the ball in this situation. I will never, ever, 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 when I have the ball up seven with ball at half and about two minutes left in the first half, I'm never going to throw. I will not put the ball in the air. You will notice here, I will run the ball every single play. And the reason why I'm going to run the ball every single play here is because I truly, um, defensively, we're playing lights out. Okay. Also, uh, the other thing is, 
we just can't we just can't afford a mistake a mistake would be too too big here so we're just we're just fine we're fine with that we're fine we're gonna go down two minute warning and we're gonna run the ball three more times and that's gonna be that we're not going to pass the ball we will not put the ball in the air in this situation and the reason why is it is that important honestly i'm going conservative too i don't i cannot you have no idea how important it is that i go up two possessions right here um it doesn't matter if i score a field goal because again competitive madden is all about possession now yes you want to feel you want to score a touchdown of course you want to score a touchdown but it's not the most important thing here the most important thing is simply that i score a field goal so we're take our time here uh and really what we want to be able to try to do is run him out of timeouts that's the real goal um but you see there's no way in the world that i will throw the ball um, and you see we shoot clock all the way down. We're going to take every second of this clock and on third down We're going to run it again, and we're actually going to get in there with Aaron Jones See and that's you can break one whatever But I'm just I'm never going to be the kind of person in that situation that's throwing the ball five yard line It's way too risky. There's way too many bad things that can happen um, And you get ball at half you have to remember that who gets ball at half is so so important for the big picture of the game that's why i always recommend to kick the ball off um if you are not always kicking the ball in my opinion you're doing it wrong you always want to be kicking the ball off and now we're 14-0 and we just need a field goal if we we get i mean we just we don't even need that i mean we just we just have to keep him in front of us if he goes down and scores seven here like that's huge for him um as long as we can hold him to three uh, that's really my biggest goal. And right there, it takes a big lick from the user hit stick. But yeah, I mean, we're just that we're just trying to keep it in front. You know, um, if we again, we're trying to limit our mistakes a little bit. You know, there's so these games, these these money games, you'll realize when you play them a lot that they get over so fast, like like so fast. Um, and so because of that, you have to be mindful of that. I have to be mindful that they're gonna, this game's gonna end quick. Um, it's gonna end quicker than I thought. And there's a pick and that's huge. And we're gonna get a pick six, 21 zip, Adrian Amos to the dot, touchdown Packers. That's huge for this game. We now go up three possessions with ball at half. It is very hard to come back from this. And you're seeing the defense is playing ball. This is the 335 wide defense that I'm talking about. Um, the cover four show two out of 335 wide is the best defensive base play in the entire game because you can do so much with it. Right there, I was in cover two quarters. You probably never thought that someone would run a defense called cover two quarters, but it is, I'm telling you right now, it is the best defense that I've seen right now for anything that has to do with compression. Um, so anyways, if you want that defense, it's in the description. It will win you so much money. I'm telling you that right now. But anyways, um, 21 zip. We still have nine minutes left to play. He's going to go to a different offense here. And this shows to me that uh, he, he's kind of, I think he's in a bad spot. Um, he's not comfortable. Uh, he's not comfortable. So we're going to go to our kind of our, our base defense for this uh, and just kind of watch what he does route wise. He's trying to run that skinny post. It's not going to work. And we're going to take that away. And there's another pick for the defense. This defense is insane and a huge play for Kevin King. And now all we're thinking about is three points. We're not now again a little bit of game management i will throw the ball here but i will be on conservative you best believe i'm going on conservative looks like he's going to go ahead and click and, and 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 get out of this game good game to this guy um he actually was higher higher rated than i was on players lounge so i thought it was going to be in a dog fight ended up becoming a really good defensive performance and again if you want to get those ebooks my defense is in the description my offense is in the description if you want to get a free sample of those defenses or offenses just text me my cell phone number is 812-216-3644 thank you for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on stream this evening at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time